in an arts festival much like this one, there lived a very greedy king and queen. And when I say greedy, well, they were so greedy Yes. They were so greedy that they wouldn't even pay a $3 donation to the Prescott Park Arts Festival. That's greedy! They didn't care anything about their subjects. All they cared about was seeing how big they could get their bank accounts to grow. Dear, answer me this. If people are willing to pay a penny for your thoughts, then how come we're not thinking more? But that is just like you, dear, always trying to put in your two cents. Oh, I can't help it. I want money. But dear, I've always heard of the best things in life are free. Oh, you can give them to the birds and the bees. I want money. That's what I want. Oh, get out of my way. Well, they would stop at nothing. Dear, I have a plan. Why don't we tax parents on the allowance they pay their children? Well, dear, that's not very nice. I love it. I have another brilliant idea. We can rob the food bank. Well, they have nothing but food there. They don't have any money. Or maybe we can eat something that is really rich. I want it. I want it. I want to swim in a sea of toys. I want to wash the laundry in gold dust. I want to eat money. I want a $10 bill on rye right hold the mustard. I want to invest all my money in the savings and loan. Can I change my mind? Money makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. Money makes the world go around, it makes the world go round. Well, most of the kingdom couldn't even afford to buy a crust of bread. Not that they would want to buy just a crust of bread. <laughs> your Majesty, your Majesty, I don't know what I'm going to do. All this week I've been homesick. Homesick? I thought you lived here. No, you don't understand. I've been ill. I haven't gone to work for two weeks. Well, what is it you do for work? Well, I work on steam engines. Steam engines? Yeah, there's a lot of job pressure. <laughs> so why are you bothering us? Well, I'm here to tell you that <laughs> I can't pay the rent. But you must pay the rent. But I can't pay the rent. But you must pay the rent. I'll do anything, anything but the rent. Uh, anything but the rent? The rent. The rent. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Oh, what is it you want? I have a tale of woe to tell. I am out of work. What are you talking about? You're a castle guard. You work for us. Okay, in that case, I come to tell you that I can't pay the rent. But you must pay the rent. But I can't pay the rent. Oh, it's either the rent or the rack. I'll do anything, not the rack. The rack, please, the rack! Well, the dead boy, you will, you will be punished 30 lashes with a wet noodle. But sire, since I am the one who usually does the punishment around the castle, and there's no one to punish me, I guess I don't have to be punished. Oh, what are we going to do? We can't afford to hire a new punisher. You will punish yourself. Punish myself? Yes, now hop to it. <laughs> There's nothing like issuing a good threat to get your morning going, wouldn't you say, dear? Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! My father can't pay the mortgage. Ever since the Navy Yard started laying off people, he hasn't been able to find a job. I'm broke. Destitute. Financially embarrassed. Oh, whatever will I do? Woe is me. Are you seeing woe again? Who is this woe? No, woe is me, not woe is him. Answer the question, are you seeing woe again? For Pete's sake, oh, Pete too? No, you don't understand. No, no, stop all this tomfoolery. Tom's back? Oh, what's a queen to do? Woe, Pete, Tom? Boy, you do get around, don't you, girly? Roger! Now, don't you start, dear. Now, what is it that you have come to tell us? I've come to tell you that. Yes. yes. I can't pay the rent. But you must pay. Now don't you start. If you people think I'm going to do that, you must pay the rent bit again. You're crazy. Now just pay a little rent if you forget about the whole little episode. Well, there must be something I can do. I'm a young, well, sort of young, strong woman. I can work as hard as any man around the castle. Why, I have ideas to contribute. I'm as good as any man is. Well, she does have a point, dear. I am woman. Hear me roar. That's very nice, dear. We women will overcome the barriers that you men have put in front of us. We will show you that we're not second class. 
people in the kingdom could not pay their rent. What about you? Do we have your rent? <laughs> I don't pay rent. As a matter of fact, I don't even work very hard. <laughs> State employee, I gather. Why can't these peasants understand that it's free enterprise that makes this country great? It's that good old American know-how that has seen this country through its hard times. And it's that know-how, that indomitable American spirit that will bring us back from the brink of economic disaster. We don't need new economic policies. All we need is another four years of George Bush. Now, let's raise their rates. <laughs> what the king and queen did not know was that the peasants were meeting secretly in the inner bowels of the castle. Your Majesties, we've been talking about the working conditions here, and we have a list of demands. Demands? <laughs> Did he say demands? I believe that's what he said, dear. Does the name Jimmy Hoffa ring a bell? He had a list of demands. Also, as members of the working class, we have a voice that must be heard. We cannot be ignored. Do you think that we're stupid? Can somebody call me? Dear, what are you doing with the riffraff? If you are going to take over the throne, you must learn to choose your friends more carefully. Yes, now come over here, son. Watch and learn as we squeeze the last pennies out of this rabble. You will have to do the same when you are king. You mean we're going peasant painting, Papa? Yes, now. Don't interrupt! Yay! We can no longer afford to pay your high rents and taxes. We refuse to work so that you can buy expensive luxuries. We want to say is how our government is being run. Oh, just as I thought, a bunch of Democrats. Ooh, I'm sorry to say that I agree with the rest of the peasants, sire. Who told you you could stop punishing yourself? Sorry, Your Majesty. Oh, the living conditions around here are awful. You royals get the best apartments, and we're forced to live in temporary housing at Pease Air Force Base. Your Majesty, I am moving in squalor. Isn't that next to happening? The border is falling out! Well, we all lose our figures, my dear. My ceiling leaks. You should be glad you have a roof over your head. Hey, who said you could start? We refuse to pay any more of your rent until our houses are fixed. First Mariner's Village, and now you. Dear, I have an idea. Why don't we have the peasants work for us to pay off their bills? Brilliant as usual, my little cupcake with extra frosting. Peasants? Yes! yes. We will give you all new jobs that you may work to pay off your bills. Yay. I still don't like it. Pedrolino, you will work in the castle gaggery. As for the rest of you, I'll deal with you later. Now be off. I don't Not think that's fair. fair. Not fair. I don't think that's, that's fair. fair to me. I don't like it. Son, what is it that you have out there? Oh, nothing, Father. I just started a new hobby. Well, what is it, my darling? Well, every week, the regiments of the kingdom put out these green bins filled with, with papers and bottles. And since it was free, I started collecting the papers to make paper airplanes. Well, what do you do with the bottles? Oh, I just throw them in the trash. Well, how long have you been collecting the paper? Oh, about four years. I already have three rooms filled with recycled paper. Dear, oh my, oh my, 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 did you see this? They're having a big auction at the Newington Mall, and it says here that you can buy everything at half price. Oh, where did you see that? Oh, the Portsmouth Herald! The, the region's, region's leading newspaper! newspaper. <laughs> Let's go and shop until we drop. <laughs> oh, we can't afford it. If only there was some way we could print our own money. I wonder what I'm going to do with all this paper. Well, there is an old printing press in the basement. I can dance, and my uncle has a barn. But where would we get all the paper from? I wonder what I'm going to do with all this paper. I got it. How could I have been so stupid? What, did you call me? Yes. Now, Giorgio, I want you to take all the paper you've collected and bring it down into the room with the printing press. You mean no more pinching pennies from the peasants, Papa? No, not now. Now go. <laughs> Barbarella! Barbarella, I want you to report to the basement where you will start printing dollar bills without pictures on them. Oh, I don't think that's legal. Oh, you heard the man. Now move it or lose it. Dear, you're brilliant. <laughs> we can print all the money we need to buy everything we want at the 
was not legal, but they did it anyway. I want that one. I want the blue want shirt and the yellow shorts. I want the blue shirt and those funky shorts. I want everything. I want that thermos. I want those sneakers. Adia, maybe we should practice on the price is right. I always wanted to meet Bob Barker. All right, dear, but let's not wear our fur coats. Ooh. Well, while the rest of the kingdom practice, while the king and queen practice their new purchasing power, the rest of the kingdom was working night and day. Day and night. Oh, Petrolino, how did we end up in the dungeon miles beneath the castle? Just lucky, I guess. Oh, I, I don't understand how I can be forced to make money for the evil king and queen. Well, if it's any consolation, I spend my days playing duck, duck, goose.
taken my Barbarella away from me. I ain't got nobody. Nobody cares for me. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on there, stranger. <laughs> I see quite a different future for you. You do, mysterious stranger? <laughs> you can just call me mysterious. Thank you. Yes, I see a future filled with happiness and riches for you. Riches? Yeah, riches. Just take a look under Mother Goose there, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> oh, I really think she'd prefer to have a private stage. Oh, nonsense! That goose and I go way back. Check the next, go ahead. Well, I'll do what you say, but this sure sounds mysterious. Yep. Oh, sorry. Mm. Hey, mysterious, look! There's a golden egg under here! No yolk! <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, Sonny, that egg is your ticket out of here. I don't see how I can get on a bus with just an egg. Come on, trust me. <laughs> with that golden egg, you'll never get pushed around by the king and queen anymore. I'm telling you, that egg is your ticket out of here. Again with this ticket. You're going to be the richest man in the kingdom. But I thought the best things in life were free. Oh, come on now, Bunky. Get with it. This year's the 90s. Don't you know you got to buy happiness? Oh, sorry. Well, I still don't see how I can compete with the king and queen. After all, they're going to buy that great treasure at the New Eaton Mall with their fake money. Hey, you just leave that cotton picking king and queen to me. <laughs> well, all right. Like, I'd have to tell Barbarella. Thank you, Mysterious. <laughs> don't you mind? No problem. <laughs> well, what's going to become of Pedrolino in this? Newly found egg fortune. Will he use it to win the heart of his Barbarella? Or will somebody poach it? <laughs> get it? No, you don't get it. They're right. Will he be able to scramble the plans of the king and queen? And if he does, is everything going to be sunny side up with the castle? <laughs> well, looks like that's the end of our act. Don't forsake us yet. Come on back in a few minutes and we'll bring you act two. Come on, Trigger! Mysterious stranger 
fee for funding. The fees for funding what? The fees for funding for finding the fabulous fortune. Are you telling me that the fees for funding for finding the fabulous fortune? Yes, sire. Well, fie on your fee and bring him here. Not without a fee. Oh, here is your flipping fee. Dear, why did you pay him? I was afraid he was going to explain it again. I get him for free. For free? Well, for free for a small fee, you see. Hey, sit down. Dear, and what did Justice Broker have to sell? I mean, if he's selling stones, well, maybe he's an insurance salesman. How can a stranger who sells stones sell insurance? Haven't you ever heard of buying a piece of a rock? Good point. But we just have to be patient. All good things come to those who wait. I make good money waiting. Well, how do you make money by just waiting? On tables. How do you make money waiting for tables? Not for tables, on tables, silly. Well, what are you doing standing on tables? Mother. Oh, go wait over there. May I take your order, please? Yes. Yeah. Who cares? They lose all the time. 
Tangent the Goose belongs to Pedralino. I mean, hasn't he raised it since it was a pup? Didn't he sit on it the whole time while I was waiting for it to hatch? What has that got to do with it? I only trade with people who tell the truth. Now, if the goose is really yours, then I'll give you all my jewels. But if the goose is not really yours and you're lying, fuck, then you don't get nothing. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. The duck does belong to Pedralino. I must tell the truth. I must, I must, I must. There now, don't you feel better for having told the truth? I do. I do. I feel cleansed. Sure you do. <laughs> now, Pedralino, I want you to keep the goose because you love it so. And since you told the truth, you get to have all the jewels. You mean we get a reward for telling the truth? I'm going to have to start doing that more often. Come, dear, let's go play with our treasure. All right. Well, Funky, you get to keep the goose. <laughs> now, remember what I told you? That little bird could be the solution to all your problems. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Funky, pay attention to what I'm trying to tell you here. With the goose, I mean, with the golden eggs that that goose lays, you can afford to buy the castle. You mean these golden eggs are valuable? They sure are. No yolk? No yolk, Funky. Look, what you gotta remember is that wealth and money is a lot like manure. You gotta spread it around for it to work. <laughs> Come on, Sea Biscuit. Thank you, Mysterious. Oh, I must tell Barbarella. Oh, Barbarella! 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 Barbarella, get down here! Barbarella, you won't believe my good fortune. Oh, Petrolino, I have missed you so. You know, it's not as though I haven't been thinking about my career, though. We both know that comes first. But I've made a decision. I'm going to leave the castle and go to work for Ms. Magazine. But you can't leave. Not now when things are going so well for us. Well, I did get a job offer from Mary Kay Cosmetics, but I We're can't. rich, we're rich. You never have to work again a day in your life. Well, that is if you don't want to. Now, don't start telling me what I can and can't do, men. Huh. I haven't come this far to end up cooking meals in the kitchen when I can contribute to the better good of all women kind. So I have no intention of holding you back. Well, maybe we could use your money to start the Agricultural Development and Natural Resources Project. Then you'll follow me? No! You'll follow me! Anything you say, dear. So, Babs and Pedro used their wealth very wisely. They liberated the castle workers and gave them all high-paying jobs with full health benefits. The king and queen, though not as rich as they used to be, still had a good time with their new jewels. I just love wearing jewelry. It makes me feel so royal. Oh! Dear, got a grip and no one's even noticing you. And they can't get their eyes off of me. I just want the two of you to know that you can stay in the castle. We need a more humble oh, oh, oh. That is very generous of you. But you must pay the rent. But I can't pay the rent. But you must pay the rent. Oh, where is Giorgio? Has anyone seen him? I saw him in the kitchen. Where every man should be. He was preparing something special for the celebration. Oh, Dad! I made your favorite! <laughs> Goose. No! Oh, my goose is cooked! Pedralino, you really can't leave your friend lying around the castle like that. So, everything was sunny side up within the castle. The king and queen gave up their royal responsibilities and appeared on Star Search. Pedralino started his own line of restaurants called the Golden Egg, located on Sagamore Avenue. May I take your order, please? Kufaruku was elected to serve on the city council. Enough said. And the Capitano, mindful of his wages, started the taxi service. And Barbarella, still burning with the desire to help womankind, now works for Sports Illustrated. We really have to do something about that swimsuit issue. So the end of our play is here, when some will laugh and some will cheer. We hope you made at least one new friend until August 19th at 6 o'clock when we meet. <laughs>